everybody, sorry. Hey everybody, Kyle and the Keystone Girl here with Spicer Designs. Yeah. Hold on, I got an idea. What? No. Why did you move? I just got a face full of butt cheek. That's your fault. You're always falling. Welcome back to the channel. You got a soft butt. All right, today's video is something that is long overdue. It's been a huge eyesore on the property since we moved here. We're gonna be using the new Kimron XH26D. What the hell are you doing? Why are you screwing around? I was bored. Why don't you save that for the bedroom later? <laughs> okay. You can never have too many ticklers. <laughs> so we're gonna be using the Kimron XH26D to hopefully remove this giant stump right here. This thing is disgusting. And this whole little area is just a nice little storm we've got going on on the property. And being that it's right between the house and the pond, our two prized possessions, I gotta clean this up. Do you agree? You don't really give a shit, do you? It is ugly, I want it gone. Well, yeah, it looks like crap. Look at it. Believe it or not, it looked even worse when we bought the place because most of this tree was still here. It never got cleaned up, so at least that's cleaned up. But until having this excavator, I had no way to remove that stump. And I still may not be able to. I might have to get a bigger one. You know, bigger's better. That's what I hear. That's what you hear. <laughs> Picked a good day to do this, though. Not too cold. Well, it doesn't matter to you. You're going to be inside. <laughs> Are you going to come stand over here by the poison ivy? Yeah. So, with very little help from the Keystone Girl, I'm going to attempt to get this thing out of here. Chinese excavator versus American stump. <laughs> USA. China might win this. <laughs> China might win this I war. hope China wins this one. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. The Keystone Girl is probably going to go inside where it's nice and warm and watch uh, Murder, She Wrote or Days of Our Lives. Who knows Either what she's one. into. And I'm going to get the coyote out and start cleaning up all these rocks. There's a couple other small little stumps in here. And I want to get these cleaned up so I have a place to throw all the spoils and all the crap that comes out of that stump. And uh, then we can start digging this thing out. Oh! Damn it! I told you that thing's beefy. Got a little chilly last night. Got my wool undies on. I don't want to tear up my yard too much, even though it looks like shit. I'm gonna try to rake these into a nice pile so I can scoop them up with the coyote. Oh, that's a big boy right there. Probably some snakes underneath there. All right, let's see if we can pick up this big old boulder right here. I need to tip it up. There, will it hold? Oh, we got it. Yeah, whatever. plant something like this. Jesus. Yeah, I'm sure that looked nice for about two weeks until it grew into a freaking giant cluster fuck. You can't have a nice mess without a solar light to accent it. One day I'll have a garage door open around this. Got most of the rocks cleaned up. Just have a bunch of this loose stuff I gotta clean up. I'll do that at the end. And uh, I'm gonna switch over from that 17, 18 inch bucket to the 10 inch trenching bucket because I do not have a ripper tooth for this thing. But I will be building one. I don't wanna show you this stump because this thing is about every bit of three foot in diameter. And if it wasn't in the condition that it's in, pretty much rotted, I don't think that I would have a chance of pulling it out with this little three ton machine. So the plan is to dig up these roots a little bit, see if I could shove this thing around and get it out of here. 
but uh, I'm really not sure. Even though it's rotten, it's, it's hard to say if it can do it or not, but we will see. Here we go. Just pull the stump out. I gotta get the drone in the air. Give you guys some cool shots. I love those shots. We're up. Pick this damn thing up. Holy sh! Oh, the main boom is starting to drop. Whoa. Me running, I just picked it up. That's amazing. This thing's almost as big as the excavator. Yes! Well, holy sh! That little excavator picked up that massive stump. That thing's huge. Oh, not anymore. Couldn't hold on any longer. I think the hydraulics were kind of releasing a little bit, but that's pretty damn impressive. Now I gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna haul this thing out of here and get it into the fire pit, or maybe just dig a big hole and bury it. I don't know yet. How do you like that, you stupid tree stump? I just spelled subscribe again. Getting pretty good at it. It's all in cursive. You think I'm gonna stop midstream? <laughs> All right, dug myself a big old hole. I'm gonna grab some of those chunks of crap, all that garbage, throw it in the hole, and then take this soft stuff, cover it up.
tracks cleaned up. If you notice, I'm using my new track cleaning tool that Doug over at One Eye Custom sent me. This thing is freaking cool! Works really, really well. He custom makes these in his shop. He even puts little notes on here just for safety. It says, this is 100% a pry tool, dot, 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 please pry with this. Okay, Doug, I'll pry with it, jeez. Now, if you haven't seen Doug's channel, One Eye Customs, I highly recommend you go and check it out. It's one of my favorite channels. I've become very good friends with Doug. He is very innovative and he will get you thinking differently about organization and how you build things. Pretty good stuff over there, check it out. I will have his channel link down in the description. Two different ends on it. It's got a nice flat end here, and you got a nice pointy end on this side. And it can also be used as an axe. Freaking beefy. Oh, look who yeah. finally shows up. What, you bring me a keystone after I'm done operating heavy machinery? That doesn't make any sense. What do you think about it? Is this thing pretty big or what? <laughs> oh, finally. Yeah. Finally, you think something's big. It's a monster. I hear that a lot. Now that I got my pointer slash pry tool slash track tool, I am shocked that this 5,500 pound machine picked up this giant ass stump. This thing is massive. Well, the Chinese excavator won this battle. This isn't supposed to be political by any means, so don't take it that way. I have had a couple of comments regarding this being a Chinese excavator, a Chinese machine. One of them said, uh, only traders buy Chinese junk. Well, if that's the case, you might want to sell half the possessions that you own because almost everything we own is made in China or some part of it is made in China. So. That argument, it's not the greatest argument to have anymore. And the bottom line for a machine like this is that it is a budget machine and it's more set up for homeowners just for use on your property. I'm not trying to run a business with this thing. Now I did make an overview video on the Kimron XH26D. I will leave a link for that video in the description. Otherwise, if you go to microtraco.com, you can see all the different models they have. They have all the pricing right there on the website. And so far, I've been very happy with it. Got some goosebumps. Friction, friction always helps. Your hands are cold though. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> this is a 100% pry tool. <laughs> Who, who's this, this? What's going on? <laughs> well, Doug sent it to me and he put a he put a sticker on it that said, this is not a pry tool. I just, had, I just had to f with him. Oh, <laughs> you, oh. So I pulled it off and made this one. <laughs> this is 100% a pry tool. I'm gonna pry with this damn thing. <laughs> Bend I'll it pry. in half. So here is our, <laughs> what, this is my pointer. <laughs> You're overdoing it with the pointer. Sorry, it's so fun. <laughs> so the space turned out great. It looks a million times better. This area was so disgusting. Now I can actually plant some grass seed here and have a little bit nicer of a view of the pond. One step at a time, we are getting closer. Let's move closer to the damn camera because the freaking screen keeps shutting off. It looks small. So if you enjoyed this video, you found it entertaining, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Doug, thank you for the pry tool. <laughs> Track tool, whatever. <laughs> it's very nice. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> That's a beefy one. I know. God. Well, I like beefy. Except you, honey, you're not beefy. Thanks. You're beautiful. It's like a putter. <laughs> Gosh. God, it just fell into a sinkhole. Oh, that's where that mongoose is living. We rolled in its <laughs> earlier in that last video. Yeah. Kind of a cool pose. <laughs> Let's do one more take of that. You just like it. Straighten your butt out. <laughs> God, I feel like we're in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's funny because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs>